Why the fuck do we have to meet here? How many times have I told you not to phone me when I'm with Connie? Oh, you're hurting me. Look, I gave you money last week to get rid of that. I ain't getting rid of it. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean it this time, right? If you don't leave Connie, I swear to God, I will sell her everything. Now listen, cunt. You take that money and go to the clinic like we agreed, right? And if you dare breathe a word of this to Connie, I'll fucking kill you. Oh, I'm calling the police. Is that you, Denise? Yeah, go on, fuck off, you bastard. Hang on, I'm coming down, babe. So he legs it, right? She's left rolling around in the gutter. <gasps> Did you call the police? Yeah. Strange thing was, she told him she'd been mugged, but I could have sworn it was Marco. Really? Well, I don't know, it was dark. Anyway, she's lost the baby. <gasps> no. I know, I said I'd keep an eye on her when her mother went inside, but come on, I'll pass fucking five I got to bed. God, I hate hospitals. Did they keep her in overnight? Yeah, coming home this morning, but the state of her baby, her eye. And she was so hysterical in the ambulance, they had to give her Valium. Oh, that reminds me. Here. What? It's that bit of gear, babe. Oh, this is ridiculous. Look, if he's not here in five minutes, I'll have to cancel. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs Marston. I've tried ringing him, but his phone switched off. Well, it's not good enough. Nine years I've been coming here. Would you like another cup of tea? No, thank you. I've had two already. And about time to... Piss off, you ugly bitch. <gasps> I beg your pardon. You left it in your other jacket when you went out this morning. And before you say out, I've read all the messages. <laughs> that were you last night, wasn't it? <laughs> well, she must think a lot of you to not tell the police. That's all I can say. Because after all, it's murder, really, isn't it? What's up, Marco? Gonna thump me as well, are you? <sighs> Mrs. Martin said she's never heard such language in her life and she's cancelled. I'm telling Connie. And Mrs. Coombe said if she's not shampooed in five minutes, she's going somewhere else. Well, shut your mouth, get out there and shampoo the cunt then! <laughs> you even so much as dare mention a Whitlaw to me today, Natasha. I swear to God, I'll wring your fucking neck! 